Hey everyone, it's Cag Day Man. So with the winter time brings a lot of this, a lot of rain. And while rain in its natural habitat is good for dragon fruit, they get a lot of rainstorms. What we don't have usually when growing dragon fruit is their natural soil conditions and the natural rain patterns, right? So what, what might rain, what might be good for them over there isn't necessarily the same for them here. Like here in California, we have a long, long periods of drought followed by pretty sudden and extreme winds or rainstorms in the winter. And the dragon fruit that grows here gets accustomed to that. And on top of that, we don't have really the right potting soil to be able to handle that type of rain. So you, in the winter time, you get a lot of stuff like these fungal infections, rust like that. So when you're growing dragon fruit, an important thing to keep in mind is that rain isn't necessarily good for your plants you want to plant out ahead in case of a rainstorm and try to get something like a canopy or like an umbrella or like a clear tarp or something an easy up to protect your dragon fruit from the rain because more than likely than not you're already watering your dragon fruit on your own and so if you water your dragon fruit one day and then the next day you get rain it's like your dragon fruit has been sitting in water for two days instead of just the one day that you water. And that causes them to be sitting in water for long periods of time and encourages fungus growth and just leads to all sorts of nasty problems like this cactus rust right here on the tips of my Cosmic Charlie. Or something like this, like weather stress on my Home Depot No ID. Uh, another thing, important thing to keep in mind is that other varieties will handle the rain and cold temperatures better than other varieties. Well, some better than others, what I mean to say. Like for instance, my voodoo child over here, this is it, this dark green one right here. As you can see, it's pretty much blemish free and it's doing pretty well in these cold weather conditions. Even this little new growth, not showing really any signs of rot. You know, don't want to jinx that. But yeah, it seems to be doing well in these conditions, in these conditions. Well, my condor over here isn't doing too hot, as you can see. Has a lot of cactus rust and yellowing. Right? So, different varieties handle the weather differently than others. So, if I were to handle this, what I would do is I would make conditions that are at least good for the lowest common denominator, which would be my Cosmic Charlie. So, I would probably put like a rain tarp over it. You know, to keep any more rain or fog or whatever to be getting on my, my branches. And I'm sure that my voodoo child will be able to tolerate it. So we have a voodoo child that tolerates the weather. And then another one that tolerates the weather. Versus this one, which is not doing so well. And the voodoo child, which is doing well. You know, I get, you know, a common denominator amongst your, your varieties. So that you can get through the winter. But yeah, just keep an eye out on your guys' dragons. Make sure you're not getting any of this stuff. I'll, I'll be handling soon. I'm sure my plants will be fine, so I'm not too worried. But yeah, it does look pretty bad and can get pretty worrisome. Especially with this, my condor and this little new growth for my Ecuador Pelora, which is doing not so good either because of this weather. You know, we, we really don't get much rain around here. So in the winter time, there's just so much rain and the plants just kind of freak out. But yeah, I think pretty much rainy season is over for me, at least for now. So I can begin preparing stuff to get yeah, my stuff to the, my plants to the rain. But yeah, just wanted to make a little update video to try to teach you guys more about weather and how dragon fruit react to rain. So rule of thumb, rain is kind of the enemy to your dragon fruit. Unless you plan and schedule ahead watering. You don't want your, your dragon fruit to get too rained on because it can cause all sorts of problems. Watering is better than raining watering, I would say, at least for dragon fruit. But yeah, happy growing, guys. Hope you guys get to the winter. See ya.